Les Jones, Brian Dorsey, Doug Shouse. We're underway, and Carolina has it first. This place is loud. Should be, a, should be a great matchup with Tokato and Warren going at it. And the foul right out of the gates, and that's going to be on T.J. Warren. That's the last thing NC State wants. Yeah, especially a cheap foul like that, too, on a jump shot. Uh, T.J. Warren's presence out on the floor, obviously a huge key for this team, and he cannot afford to get in early foul trouble. So Tokato at the line. He struggled at the line this season. And makes his first. Had a game early on, Tim, where he went four of 16, and a lot of guys wouldn't recover from that mentally, but uh, he's, he's really worked at it. Shooting only about 51% from the line. You look at the Tar Heels' woes at the line, and Tokido makes them both. So I think it's imperative that NC State gets off to a good start. And that's not the way they want it to start. Yeah, Mark Godfrey talked about the first 15 minutes over in Chapel Hill. His team just couldn't run anything, and I think this matchup, key right too with Page and Lewis. Warren misses. Tokido comes down with a rebound. Transition. Tokido has it taken away. Well, North Carolina State got lucky. Nobody stopped him on the drive up the court. Tough shot for Turner. Air ball. Not even close. Well, here's the play. I mean, you, you, somebody has got to identify the ball with the, the guy with the ball, even if he's not your guy, and stop him. But they made a nice defensive play at the end. Lawson Turner got a good look, but he was way off. Maybe some nerves to start here early. Leslie McDonald. McAdoo misses the layup. McAdoo was very aggressive in that first game, attacking who was ever guarding him, and that's a tough cover for, for Vandenberg. They have great lateral movement that time, and it's going to be tough for him to cover McAdoo off the bounce. It's going to be an interesting matchup right here. Tyler Lewis and Marcus Page. Watch that one all night. And it'll belong to NC State with 13 on the shot clock. Hey, fans, don't forget you can watch TJ Warren on an ISO cam. It's streaming live right now on the acc.com slash ISO cam. And following tonight's game, check out ACC Post Game Live on the acc.com. Shot clock at 10. Lewis doesn't like to shoot, but he's going to have to here. Yeah, that's, uh, he just couldn't get good. He couldn't use that screen and roll up top. Bang! Just like that. Roy Williams was wondering about Kennedy Meeks and how he would react. This is the first real injury that he's had, and young guys sometimes don't deal with that well, but that was a beautiful fadeaway. He's been a big part of this nine-game winning streak. Again, Kennedy Meeks, 6'9", 285, made that jumper like a forward. Nice pass underneath. NC State is on the board. Well, Turner's the one guy you got to make drive. You can't give him open looks from three, and he made a nice play that time. Warren moves very well without the basketball. Warren loves that back door when it's open. Meeks gets into trouble. They double him. Tokido turns it over. Turner gives it right back. Age off balance. Frenetic pace early. Lewis, ball was kicked. Lewis has played about 90 minutes without a turnover. Well, when he gets a bigger guy, I mean, here's the Meeks, the nice shot, the good fadeaway. Testing that ankle early on. And then the backdoor cut, as you said. 63% of his points are going to come in the paint area. Warren draws iron. Donald looks at it, goes back to Meeks. He proved he could knock it down. Austin Turner is 0 for 2, but he's been active. And how about this pass? And Warren is fouled. Foul will be on Tokito, and that'll be his first. Well, we talk about Tyler Lewis really takes care of the basketball. And that was a tough pass, especially to throw a lob against a player like Tokito can get up as well. A pretty good body control by Warren. Warren's a 70% free throw shooter and makes the first. 
He's got three points. His scoring average has gone up when Tyler Lewis has become a starter. Makes them both. How about those numbers? Fifth leading scorer in the nation. This is McDonald. And Tokuto is there, has it blocked. This is a travel turnover, Carolina. Nice play by Kyle Washington inside. Terrific block. He's their energy player inside. He's, in, he's playing at a high level. Didn't go for the pump fake, stayed on the ground. Good defensive play. Timmy scored, but he's scored in double figures two out of the last three games. I think he could be an X factor for them in this ball game. How about the job Roy Williams has done turning this club in the right direction? They started the ACC season one and four. This is Warren again. That wasn't a, that was a U-turn. It wasn't turning in the right direction. Page. Around the rim, comes back out. And Meeks is fouled. Vandenberg picks up his first. Uh, it's been a it's been a trend here early. North Carolina is starting to establish themselves on the offensive glass. And once you do that in the referee's mind, you're going to get some calls. And NC State has got to do a better job of blocking out. Vandenberg looked over the bench and patted his chest saying, he, you know, he, he missed an assignment that time. Now Meeks is only a 59% free throw shooter. This is the first. We mentioned he suffered a hyperextended knee and sprained ankle in that win over Wake on Saturday. And so Vandenberg goes out of the ball game. And B.J. Anya comes in. And those are going to be two wide bodies going at it inside. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's a space eater now. 6'9", 240. 340. And I think it may be a more of a confidence thing because that's, you know, Meeks has got a very nice shot. He's got soft hands. And I think as he gets to the line, he just gets a little bit more confidence that that percentage should go up. Turner looked at it, goes to the baseline for two, and gets the roll. They are really running at him, forcing him to put the ball on the floor. They do not want him to get open looks from three. Skate by one. Page 0 for 2. Yeah, Page struggling early, and uh, we were wondering about that matchup, especially defensively, Lewis against Page. He's been able to keep him out of the lane so far, making him settle for jump shots. Tyler Lewis, 95 assists, just 24 turnovers. And Turner is fouled. This will be on McDonald. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. Free expression tunnel. Look at Mark Gottfried. There's a look at Mark Gottfried in his third season at NC State, 65 and 34 here in Raleigh. Trying to get to the NCAA tournament, and this game would help his resume. Sam Cameron just signed with uh, Siena. Up for our good friend Jimmy Patsos, the coach up there. Shot clock has not been a factor in this ball game. Both Britt and Page out on the floor right now for North Carolina. Moves uh, Page off the ball. Lewis looks up and sees the shot clock at 10. Goes to Warren for the step back jumper. And that'll be NC State basketball. Last touch by Page. And in this stretch, Tim, you know that Lewis has been playing a lot. They've been playing teams that play mostly zone, which I think plays into his hands. It's easier for him. It's the first man-to-man -man team they've seen in a while. Talked about his 11 assists and no turnovers against Virginia Tech. Here he is for three. Bang! Did a couple of early, late threes in the game this year to bail North Carolina State out. He is a capable three-point shooter and just has struggled this year. Mark Godfrey talked about his club needing an early start, a good start against Carolina. This is it. Yeah, only to know this has been a terrific first five minutes. And uh, coming in, only 13% from him, 6 of 44, but a big one. And it's, uh, you know, when he gets going, this crowd really reacts to him. 
Page has been quiet. This is Britt over to Johnson. Let's see if this group can give him a little energy. Turnaround jump. And he gets the roll. Nicely done by Bryce Johnson, who just came into the ball game. We talked about the important guys in this 9-0 stretch, and we talked about Meeks and McDonald, but Bryce Johnson has really given them a terrific lift off the bench. Mike, he's one of those guys last year. He was like Isaiah Hicks is now. He's just averaging eight minutes as a freshman. There's a turnover and a block. But we talked about Tyler Lewis and what a tear he has been. Assist to turnovers have been terrific. He's been taking care of the ball. No, and, and that's the thing. And it's, the, you know, the difference. Uh, you see 21 assists, no turnovers, which is out of otherworldly. But I really believe we're going to see more of Cat Barber in this game, depending on if Page catches fire. They're going to need his defense. That could do. And a great follow by Bryce Johnson. We just talked about how he's growing up, how he's come in and given this club energy. Big follow there. His guy left him, and then there's nobody to check him out on the front of the rim. Tied at nine. Written now on Lewis. NC State's half-court offense bogging down a little bit. They're getting late into the clock. Behind the back by Warren, running one-hander and banks it in. Nice decision. McAdoo was there, and instead of going all the way in, Phillips just checked up for the little floater. Time out to make some subs. Tyler Lewis will go out, and Cat Barber comes in. Now, Anthony Barber is a little better shooter than Tyler Lewis and maybe a little quicker defensively. No, I know, I think he's, he's, he's one of their best perimeter defenders, no question about it. This is Cat Barber with the ball. Lee has just checked in. Gives it back to Warren. Get the roll. But the follow is good. Kyle Washington. We talked about it. I thought he had his coming out party against Syracuse. Played very well against that zone. Took it down to the rack. Wow. How about this? And that's how fast North Carolina comes back at you after a made basket and a rush up the floor. How about that? Tokoto going left and finishing with the dunk. for three. Anya with the rebound. Gets it back out to Lee. They'll reset. New 35. Lee looking for some room down that lane. Almost dribbled into trouble. Barber brings it back out with 15 on the shot clock. They got to go. Lee. Air ball. Still had more time on that clock. This is Page. Makes them pay at the other end. Yeah, they, they really make you pay on a missed shot like that. It was a good defensive sequence on the air ball. Once again, it's just the, the, the offense just not running quite as smoothly with Lewis out of the ball game. Two ties, two lead changes. Again, Lee dribbles into trouble and almost turns it over. Possession arrow belongs to NC State. Well, Tokito trying to take over the middle. You miss it one end, they make you pay at the other. And we're tied at 13. We are all tied at 13. Let's take a look at the AT&T fast analysis. And uh, we talked about offensive rebounding that first game. A couple of early ones here. Kennedy Meeks inside getting fouled. And then uh, Bryce Johnson with the flush inside. NC State needs to turn that trend around and start getting bodies on people. Well, so far, Carolina shooting 35%. Keep in mind, one of the statistics we talked about earlier, the Wolfpack has held 13 of its last 19 opponents to 42% shooting or worse. 
State's played some serious defense, and they're doing it here early, and it's helping out. The transition buckets have hurt them. Well, just, you know, NC State try, just trying to do too much off the dribble at this point. North Carolina's done a nice job of stepping in and getting some steals. Shot clock is at seven. They've got to know that coming out of a timeout. Lee on the baseline. Anya has it blocked, takes it back up. Possession arrow belongs to Carolina. Well, B.J. Anya really plays below the rim and gets a lot of his shots blocked because of that. Just didn't see a real sense of urgency in that possession, Tim, with the timeout and the shot clock under 10. Virginia, Syracuse, Duke, and North Carolina, the top four in the ACC. Carolina's got Virginia Tech, Notre Dame, and Duke after this. Good chance to move up as a turnover by the Tar Heels. I, I think that... I think that top four is pretty well locked in. And, and I think the bottom six may be pretty well locked in. It's that group in the middle oh my gracious. that has some work to do. Well, in the expanded league, the bottom six will have to play Wednesday. on Wednesday. And then Pittsburgh, Clemson, NC State, Florida State, and Maryland, you would think, then they come in on Thursday. And then top four get that double bye, and they don't have to show up to Greensboro until Friday. Huge advantage. Shot clock has been a factor here for the last five minutes now for NC State. Again, it's down to eight. Cat Barber steps back. This is Lee. Tough shot by Lee. And banks it in. Well, a start he needed. He has really been struggling to score the basketball. And uh, in the last five games, 18 points total. Ball's loose. And Johnson again is there for the loose ball and picks up the foul by Anya. That's his first. Well, here's that group, and that was a tough loss last night for Clemson at Wake Forest, setting them back. Pittsburgh has come back to that pack a little bit. They were out front. Important game. This could be a huge resume builder for NC State tonight. Maryland, on the other hand, close losses to Virginia, Duke, and Syracuse. Johnson misses the first. He's only a 65% free throw shooter, and if you see a theme here, it's it's accurate. Unless it's Page or maybe even McDonald. The rest of them struggle at the line. Of course, Joel James is probably the best at almost 80%. And those are killers, so you just you, know, you miss two and it's an empty possession, almost like a turnover. State by two. Absolutely no hurry. This is Turner with a tough shot. I am with another rebound, and he's fouled. Now, the big fella's only been to the free throw line 24 times this year. He's 13 of 24. Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, with Meeks out of the game, uh, he's, you know, there's a huge strength advantage right there playing against Johnson. Just una unable to finish. Johnson's 210 pounds. The big fellas, 330, 340. Joel James comes into the ballgame now. Close captioning for ACC basketball provided by Bo Jangles' famous chicken and biscuits. It's Bo time. Right now it's BJ time and he rolls it in. Page got an extended rest here in the first minute. I think they were concerned. That's five turnovers now for the Tar Heels. And I think that Roy Williams may start to manage his minutes a little bit more. He's up 36 a game. I'm going to try to bring that number a little bit closer to 30 if possible. Working on Britt, brings it back out. Back to 10 on the shot clock. Turner from way outside. Bang! I'll tell you what, he has not lost confidence in his shot. He has taken some deep jumpers, missed his first one completely. And that was under duress, too. Britt with a pull-up jumper and hits it. Boy, did they need that. All five North Carolina starters are now on the bench.
left side. Didn't feel strong enough or confident enough to go that way. They're going to give it to him. This is Lewis for three. So far, has it been NC State getting some offensive rebounds as well. Five on the game. Inside, outside right now. Turner gives it to P.J. Anya goes up and is fouled again. The bucket will count. Give it to the big fella. Let him go get some. 21-15. Pack. You are watching the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports. Ruby Tuesday takes us around the ACC to check on on conference action. Syracuse beat Maryland by two. Greatest two-hour and 36-minute <laughs> rivalry in the history of the sport. Turgeon and Bayhawk getting after each other at the end of that one. You see Duke had an easy win last night. Moving on, of course, as you look at Miami and Virginia now in the second half of that game, Cavaliers in control and Pittsburgh and Boston College. So Pittsburgh, and we expected that, I think. Setting up a great game over the weekend with Virginia and Syracuse uh, to see who's going to have to be at the top of the league. Cavaliers about to go to 15 and 1. Meanwhile, BJ makes the second, and NC State has its largest lead of the game. McAdoo has it partially blocked. Pack comes away with it. NC State competing on the boards. The thing is, they both have five offensive rebounds, but North Carolina State is the team that's converting on them. Freeman picks up his dribble, gets into some trouble. Lewis bails him out. Nice pass to the big fella. Hanya again. Six points. Well, so far, Tyler Lewis holding his own in this thing, and he just made a great play off a handoff. Knocked out of bounds. It'll belong to the Tar Heels. There's a look at Freeman was dead up there without a, with a used up dribble, but then uh, Lewis makes a smart play, goes after it, draws in the defense and the finish. Two assists for Tyler Lewis. Tyler Lewis really, really sitting on Page's left hand. Back to do with a tough turnaround. Ball is still loose, taken away by Carolina. I just got he's been going after blocks. He's got no chance of getting, and that's exposing the weak side glass. Lewis becoming a star. Kicks it out the lead. Reverse layup, yes. Wow. Right, Freeman comes in and has an impact. Roy Williams just with his arms crossed, watching his team get carved up offensively. 13-2 run. James comes away with it. Ball still loose. How about this? But Lee touched the line. Wow, this is exactly the start that Mark Gottfried wanted. The first 14 minutes, this crowd is energized. His team is playing very well on the defensive end of the floor and running their offense as well. Keep in mind, Carolina has won nine straight games. Their last loss. January 20th, their last win was against Duke. Oh, and Carolina one. trailed against Duke and came back to win it. They only have one more home game left against Notre Dame. They'll have three on the road, three or four. Virginia Tech at Duke. This is a three ball. Yes. Shot clock violation. No bucket. Yeah, just too late. I mean, that was a great find by Tokito, but just not enough time to get the shot off. Carolina folks are shaking their heads saying, what is going on? But it's still early and plenty of time. 5.40 remaining in the first half. Turner picks up his dribble and almost threw it away. Meeks has called for a personal foul over the back. Haviland and the ACC Network are giving you a chance to pick this year's all-ACC men's basketball first and second teams. 
So don't miss your chance to cast votes for your favorite players at the acc.com slash fan vote. Enter for your chance to win a VIP trip to the ACC tournament two weeks from tonight, matter of fact. Compliments of Haviland. You know, it's, it's, an, it's ironic, Tim, that they talk about for Page with an incredible play. And the finish by Tokito at the other end. Well, let's see if North Carolina feeds off of that play. That was extraordinary hustle by Page. And those long passes from underneath out of bounds just invite steals. What a save and a hustle play by Page and hit the table hard on his hip. Here's the play that long pass. Actually, Jones Angel right there, the radio play by play man, makes the save from Page. How about the sound when he hit the table? Foul is on Tokito. That is his second. Now, Roy Williams getting a little hot. Temperature gauge has been rising. Lewis brings it back out, recognizes he's got a new 35. Well, they took Tokito off of Warren so they could hide him a little bit defensively. Lewis had it halfway down, came back out. Anya again! Eight points for the big fella. He's had, he had nine points in his last seven games combined, Tim. Huge production off the bench. Meeks touches the line. Nothing going North Carolina's way right now. It has been electric at PNC tonight. 19,722 seats in this arena, and every one of them has a fanny sitting in it. They're doing a nice job, well, and everything's tough. Well, the thing is, too, they've got this lead without T.J. Warren. He's been held in check by North Carolina. and goes for the steal. And it'll belong to Carolina. Mark Godfrey thought that McAdoo touched it, or McDonald rather touched it. Ball still loose, there's Page. And they've been coming up, North Carolina's been coming up with those 50-50 balls, the one that hit the ground. And Hustle play by Page, good finish. And knocked out of bounds. Well, that was a dangerous pass, but State will get it back. Right now, they're going inside, they're going outside, and everything is coming the Wolfpack way. Well, you look at the Wolfpack and where they're getting their points. Down low for the big fella. He's mid matched his season and career high with eight points. Yeah, Tim, I tell you, he had nine points in his last seven games total. Now, he did have eight of those against Clemson two games ago, so capable of this, but he's been perfect from the floor. Three rebounds, all those offensive, and then you look at uh, T.J. Warren, his shot chart, two of eight in this game. They have really had somebody in his shirt the whole time. You know, Mike, something else we have to mention here. James Michael McAdoo, no points. He's 0 for 5 from the field, and they have to have James Michael scoring to be effective. He averages 14 a game. Fifteen on the shot clock. Starters back in for the Wolfpack. Vandenberg with the ball with five on the shot clock. Now they're in some trouble. Here he is. They're going to get a shot off barely. And it's been usually the ball has been winding up in the hands of the bigs out on the front with that clock down, and that's the last thing you want. I'd get McAdoo involved if I could. Offensively. Remember, remember they, they won a game. They beat Florida State down there with him not scoring. So it, it is capable, but you, you, de you definitely want to get him going offensively. Tokito now has eight points. And he makes it a seven-point game. 
Turner got away with the one. No, he didn't. Les Robinson saw it. That's the first on Rusted Turner. And that's, that is a foul of frustration for Turner. As I said, they've like, like Warren, they've had somebody in his jersey the whole time as well. I said Les Robinson, obviously Les Jones. Les Robinson, the former coach here. <laughs> Mike Godfrey now sitting in that seat. Come on, fellas, got to help me out with the turnovers. <laughs> Here's McAdoo, and he's fouled. Well, that's what, that's what happened in Chapel Hill, and it happened early in that McAdoo, especially with Washington on him, really tried to attack him and go at him. Did a nice little swim move that time to get in front. McAdoo likes to turn over that left shoulder. Now, he has struggled at the line. I said he averages 14 points a game, but he's only a 53% free throw shooter. This is the first. James Michael McAdoo is not the guy that they thought he was coming in. And he probably won't take over a game right now, but he sure gives this club energy when he comes in and when he's playing well. And I also think that the presence of Kennedy Meeks has really helped him to have an extra big inside. Last year, they played four around him. And, uh, just two bigs, is, that's the way that Roy Williams likes to coach. And he gets the second, right at his average. So it's a six-point game now with 2.25 to play in the first half. And a tough a defensive assignment for McAdoo having to guard Warren. T.J. Warren picked up that, fir that foul in the first minute of the game. Had a tough time getting into the flow, but he knocks down that tray. And I think that's the shot. I mean, McAdoo's going to give him plenty of space. And a blocking foul. Yeah, that's good separation right there. You can see McAdoo just really reluctant to come out. Pinches that one. So he misses the first. And has another one coming. And he makes the second. So with two minutes left. A couple of minutes for NC State. We talk about finishing halves, and you don't want to let North Carolina get any momentum going into the locker room. Warren hit his last shot from the bonus sphere. He looked hard at that one and now takes it. Page with the alley -oop. And Johnson with a finish. Yeah, terrific run that time. Bryce Johnson running the floor extremely well. And McAdoo picks up the personal against T.J. Warren. Here's the look, and it goes great because Paige, look, he's got his eyes up already, sees that he's got a man out in front, and then it's a terrific 40-foot pass. And so a six-point game with Warren at the line. But then even, but NC State kind of turns the tables on North Carolina. On that made basket, they push the ball up the floor. Warren gets a couple of free throws. And this is the second. to do off balance and he'll go to the line to shoot two more so the crowd getting a little antsy now and Mark Godfrey very animated on the sidelines foul is on Anya his second well, 
that's the decision you have to make right there for NC State. If you know who is on your guard, because wherever it is, either McAdoo or Johnson, or he, he's going to face him. They're going to try to face him up and drive him. Coming up on the Hardy's halftime report, we'll have stats, highlights, analysis, along with a preview of our third Kings of the Court show, where we tell you the story of the great David Thompson right here at NC State. All that and a whole lot more on the Hardy's halftime report. A great player David Thompson was. McAdoo with another one. And he rolls it in. 32-26. going to go smaller going back to that backcourt of Page and Britt. So Hubert goes out for the final minute. This is Turner. 60 seconds left in the first half. Offensive foul, and that'll be two on T.J. Warren. That is huge. Yeah, he's going to come immediately out of the game to pick it up on an offensive foul. You see that left arm going out on the push. You got a smaller guy on you. You don't need to do that. That was a little close. Wow. We were blocked off from it. I thought there was more of it, a more of a push off. Sure was a lot of movement. Ball still loose. Cat Barber. Has the ball for the tie-up. Is that possession arrow? They, they call a foul. foul. They did call a foul on Nate Britt. So North Carolina now, or North Carolina State in the bonus. They'll go to the line to shoot one and one. And Cat Barber, a 70% free throw shooter. Boy, here's a guy that's had an impact on this program since his very first game. How about this, Tim? I mean, North Carolina, they're coming off a 100-point effort against Wake Forest in this winning streak, scoring about 78 points a game, and they're sitting at 26 right now in the first half. Well, NC State, numbers-wise, 13 of the last 19 opponents shooting worse than 42%. McDonald with a great backdoor cut. They didn't see him. 15 on the shot clock, 23 on the game clock. Inside the McAdoo, blocked away by Vandenberg. Yeah, he's been playing center field defensively on this possession. That was nice weak side help. It's usually the second guy coming over that gets the block shot. He just comes from behind McAdoo way under the basket. Shot clock at three. One. He didn't get it off. Shot clock violation. Timeout. NC State. We're going to take that uh, 30 second timeout and try to get a play. Plenty of time to rush up the floor. 7.9. We'll be back after this word from the Atlantic Coast Conference. North Carolina comes in ranked 19th. NC State comes in looking for an upset. Well, and it's right there. Freeman does a good job keeping a body on him. McAdoo can't elevate. He gets pushed underneath. Final five seconds. Barber's shot will not go, but he is fouled. By Nate Britt. That's two. Cat Barber, the 6'2 freshman from Newport News, Virginia. His minutes have been down the last five. Tyler Lewis getting more of them at the at the point guard position, but he's made a nice contribution here in the first half. And this is the free throw. Both teams leaving some points at the line. 2.6 seconds left in the first half. NC State just 7 for 11 from the free throw line. 
And that'll do it. Warren with two personal fouls, one of the big stories of this first half. NC State 14 and 4 with leading at the half. We'll have our halftime after this. NC State with the halftime lead. Look at this for the Tar Heels. Yeah, that's, that's tough to overcome. 11 turnovers in that first half. McAdoo had trouble getting going. No, nothing from the field. And McDonald only two field goal attempts, but he had come in averaging 20 over his last two. Underway in the second half, the final 20 minutes. Lewis had a very nice first half, continued to control and manage the game, has that ball kicked. And so as McAdoo kicks it, it'll belong to State. Keep in mind, T.J. Warren has two personal fouls. Quick pass, Turner, can't get the roll. Rebound by Page. And he had plenty of real estate in front of him. I don't think he's needed to settle for a jump shot. And McDonald throws it away. 12th turnover early. That's 12 turnovers, as yep. you say, but that was a phantom pass. There was nobody in the area. <laughs> Mike, what are some of the things we need to look for from North Carolina to get... Well, and this is the thing. Marcus Page has been a second-half scorer, so I would look for him to be a little bit more aggressive in this half early on. Shot clock down to 11. Lewis sees it. Puts up a jumper. The follow underneath, and Warren is fouled. Talk about it. So many things that he does well, Tim, and... Uh, three-point shooting, but he's the best offensive rebounder in the conference. It's a little over three a game. Nobody gets a body on him. Meeks just never really left the floor for the rebound. So Kennedy Meeks picks up his second personal foul, and Warren knocks down the free throw. Pushes the lead back up to nine. That's the point that, that Roy Williams made. He said, you know he's, this guy's going to get his points, but they want him to shoot a low percentage, which he did in the first half. He not only leads the conference in scoring, but also in field goal percentage shooting, which is almost unheard of. See if Carolina can get its giddy up as Tokido takes it down the lane and is a blocking foul. Today's coverage of ACC basketball being broadcast on AFN, the American Forces Network. We welcome the nearly 1 million men and women on the U.S. Armed Forces station around the globe in 175 countries and on the high seas. We're so proud to have you with us and hope you're enjoying the broadcast. And we certainly appreciate what you do for us every single day. Yeah, and that was a big whistle, Tim. That was uh, Warren's third personal foul. Here's Page up and under, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line for one more. That one, on, that one on Vandenberg. And usually, you know, shot blockers, don't, you know, don't try to take a charge. Block a shot. Do what you do best. So Warren has three personals now and goes to the bench. Desmond Lee comes back in. Let's keep a look at it, Tim. 1840 mark is when Warren went out of the game. A big opportunity now for North Carolina to make some inroads into this uh, seven-point deficit. Roy Williams yells at him to move, so they do pick up the pace, get a little giddy up. Page picks up his dribble. Lewis gimping around. Meeks takes it up, and he's fouled by Vandenberg. That's three on Vandenberg. Just came down a little bit with his arms. I think if he had stayed up straight, it wouldn't have called a foul on that play. But the bottom line is it puts Meeks at the charity strike. Well, now uh, DJ Anya is going to have to rekindle uh, that magic from the first half because he was going to come into the game, and he was terrific in the first 20 minutes. So Vandenberg and Warren now on the bench. Vandenberg, the only senior on this NC State roster. B.J. 
DJ Anya played 13 minutes in that first half. How much can he take? Well, that's, that's the big question conditioning-wise, you know, with both him and Meeks. North Carolina not nearly in the foul trouble that NC State is. Anya makes that ball available for Lewis. So a nice play off the free throw rebound. This also makes matters more complicated for Lewis. Tyler Lewis now has to facilitate with Warren off the floor. McDonald that time called for the hole in his second foul. And that's just good, good ball movement. Again, the way the game is being officiated this year, you cut hard and you force the guy to grab you and get a foul call. Leslie McDonald struggling with a shot today. Now he's got two personals. Taking a little break. This energy in this building has been phenomenal tonight. Knocked out of bounds by Page. 21 on the shot clock. Well, it's, it's funny with, with this, you know, obviously Warren is their marquee player, but the two guys this crowd responds to are Tyler Lewis and BJ Anya. When they, when they are going and rolling, um, there's Warren on the bench. You know, just you wonder how. Mark Gottfried is going to play this last 17 minutes out with him with three fouls. Back outside, Lewis with eight. Lewis, drop step, tough shot. Really nice defense by Marcus Page. Ahead to McAdoo. And the foul will be on Tokoto. Pretty nice job, North Carolina State getting back in transition that time. McAdoo really didn't have a shot. Come back, you see a lot of you three white jerseys get in there. Turner really making that play. JP Tokido now has three personals. Mike and fouls becoming an issue in this game. Here's Desmond Lee. See, I mean, that's where you give him a little bit of a break instead of having to guard Warden now. Tokido. And the guard Lee, who has been struggling offensively. Again, State uses a lot of the clock. Turner off balance and is fouled. That might be McDonald again. It is. That's three on McDonald. That'll get Nate Britt off the bench. Yeah, Roy Williams going small again. He had that backcourt out there with Page in the first half as well. So it takes Marcus Page, makes him a score. And Britt will be the primary ball handler. Austin Turner at 6'5", Richard Jr. from Alabama. Coach captioning for ACC basketball provided by Bojangles' famous chicken and biscuits. It's bow time. I thought you were going to go Keith Jackson on me with the Alabama. I know you know how he did that imitation. That's my, that's my old partner. I know. I'm waiting for you to say Will Billy. <laughs> Sixteen fifty to play in the ball game. NC State is not backing off. McAdoo is fouled. The follow by Tokoto is no good. McAdoo would go to the line. That personal foul is on Kyle Washington. That's his third. Well, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times, Tim, guys who aren't shooting the ball well from the free throw line get a little timid, not want to get in there, but McAdoo, give him credit, he continues to attack the rim against whoever is guarding him. And McAdoo continues to struggle at the line. Three for seven tonight. Vandenberg can only watch. All time in the 53 in the inaugural season of the ACC. Makes his second. It's a seven point game. So Carolina continues to 
stay within striking distance. And the 19th ranked Tar Heels are down to Duke by 12. And a little zone now. They've been my man to man. 1 2 2 zone. Trying to save people in foul trouble. Turner for three. Carolina pushes it. Underneath to Meeks. Five point game. Well, he just left Desmond Lee behind and created that uh, two on one situation and under the free throw line. And a whistle away from the ball, and this will be, I believe, on Nate Britt. That's three on Britt. And so with 15.44 to play, continues to be a five-point game. You are watching the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports. Hey, fans, don't forget, you can watch J.P. Tokido now on the ISOCAM, streaming live on the ACC.com slash ISOCAM. It'll give you a different angle from what you may be seeing. You can follow tonight's game. It's the ACC Post Game Live, of course. That's coming up a little bit later as soon as we're done here. The ACC Post Game Live, the ACC.com, after the game. Well, that ISO cam wouldn't have been uh, too exciting if we kept it on Warren over on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick little segment there. We'll be back. NC State, Carolina, to enter to win. Tonight's game, and it's a good one. 37-32, and there's a turnover by Lewis. He hasn't had many of those over the last nine games. Tim, he has not had a game of more than turno two turnovers all year. Amazing. He sure has made a difference in this Wolfpack team. Tokito, yes! Three-point game and J.P. Tokido with 10 points. Slowly this team, uh, North Carolina, working its way back into this game. This has been a tough team over this stretch. They've got nine straight. Carolina's been on a tear. Battle for the ball. Tie up. And a possession arrow will belong to... North Carolina, the Tar Heels. Yeah, here's the look, and uh, just Ralston Turner went back to it again, and uh, he just, the, those guys got hung up in that uh, pick and roll game. You were keeping an eye on the clock. T.J. Warren has just come back in. Yeah, I just saw, you know, you know Mark Godfrey saw that lead dwindling down to three, and uh, didn't like life without. Now he's going to go. Looks like uh, play a little bit of zone to try to hide Warren somewhat. So Warren was on that bench for about four minutes. And Carolina crawled back to within three. Blocked from behind. Wow, that's like a, and Warren makes the play defensively too. Great block by Warren. Starts it the other way. This is Cat Barber. It's got to be hard, Mike, when you go out of the ball game, you're saddled with personals, to get into an offensive flow, to get into that rhythm. Well, one, you got to be careful about charges if you're going to do something off the drive. Second of all, offensive rebounding, going over somebody's back, picking up a foul that way. Barber. Two on the shot clock. Came away empty. Nice pass. Good finish by Meeks. Boy, he's, just, he's got great hands and great footwork. And that was a good high-low action between him and McAdoo. So it's a one-point game. with NC State and North Carolina get together. Warren puts it on the floor, knocked away. Again, there's a battle for the ball, and the Tar Heels come up with it. They're getting most of the 50-50 balls in this game. Into the corner for three. J.P. Tokito with the follow. 
And Marcus Page comes up limping. He went down hard. Yeah, he's, he's shaking it off. I think he's going to be okay. Okay, this so, is the foul is on Anya, his third personal. As you look at Page, a little discomfort there. He's a tough kid. I mean, nothing has come easy for NC State. Uh, Carolina has amped up the defensive energy a little bit. They're pretty stingy in the half court. That's been part of this 9-0 run as well. Their defense has gotten much better. Really a tough night at the line for the Tar Heels. North Carolina just 8 of 18 tonight from the charity strike. They have not hit a three. There's a reason they call it the charity strike. This is a both. This is what they did at the uh, second half of the game in North Carolina, running this little weave out front, trying to open up driving lanes. Nice one-hander by Barber. Yeah, so they've gone with a little bit of a smaller lineup outside of Anya, but those are three perimeter players will run that weave. Turnaround by Johnson. He's had a nice knee. He's got eight points. He's not going to outmuscle on you, so he's going to have to create a little space, maybe put the ball on the floor and knock down some jump shots. Trying to run that weave again. It's taken away. Boy, that was close because J.P. Tokido had the ball. He touched, stepped on the line, but good hustle. Well, here it is. And they just kind of run the it's, you know, just basic old-time basketball play. And it gives Barber a little room to get into the paint area. There's another one of those 50-50 balls that Tokito almost came to play with. Big fellas fouled. I think we go to the line. Carolina kids thought they had a good block. Foul is on Bryce Johnson. That'll be his second personal. So B.J. Anya from Gaithersburg, Maryland, played for the Matha High School in Hyattsville. This is the first. So you see, uh, she wrote the same thing with Kennedy Meeks, that uh, between your freshman and sophomore year, the chance to kind of remake your body a little bit, lose some weight, tone up, get into the weight room. What a lane violation. So it'll belong to the blue shot. was no good anyway. Carolina will get the ball. The 12 18 to play in. A little bit of a zone by the Wolfpack. Johnson looks at the shot, takes it. And a rebound by Washington. Warren. In the first rush up the floor, they've really had Cat Barber very quick, and uh, Turner has not had many open looks. Correction, Turner. And Tokito knocks it out of bounds. The channel's fast and loud. Enter today at theacc.com slash Avalon for a chance for tickets to the ACC men's basketball tournament. Now coming back with his zone. Warren left alone beyond the arc. It's a good look. Here's Anya again. Anya takes it strong to the rack and it brings him to their feet. What a night for a career night for him. This freshman, his first time playing in there, second time playing in this rivalry at home. Anya, just a freshman. Knocks down a three to answer. A really nice screen that time by Mike McDonald. Gave him a lot of time. I, I still, it's, it's hard to imagine that they're only down by three, shooting eight of 19 from the free throw line. I know. I agree. Not much better from beyond the arc. He's Warren over here. Warren finishes strong. 
Well, Tokito a little hampered with that foul trouble as well. Had to give up that drive. Inside. Back to do with the spin. The bucket of count. He'll go to the line to shoot one more. Well, that's picking up, and that's a, that's a really good look by Warren, but uh, Anya has been a beast inside on the offensive glass. So at the other end, though, Anya picks up the personal. That's his fourth. And there's that drive. Beautiful. What explosion. Bryce Johnson couldn't get there quickly enough. So Anya goes out with four personals. Vandenberg checks back in for NC State. Back to do with the line, and these are important. Can't finish the three-point play. And the lows at the free throw line continue. Warren down the lane with a running one-hander. McDonald, the other end. How about that? Off a made basket. They scored in about three seconds. Cat Barber went over the table. He's not back on the floor yeah, yet. He's coming, he's coming back in. It's just going to be okay. And here he is. North Carolina missed an opportunity to jump the ball, though, until he got back. They had five on four. Here we go with 20 on the shot clock. Warren behind his back. <laughs> Big rebound underneath. Vandenberg tries to keep it alive, and Warren scores. Five-point lead. McAdoo. And a foul going the other way. Bryce Johnson going to get the foul for over the back. That's three on Johnson. And now they're in the bonus. And so NC State will go to the line one and one. Always stunning to me how quickly this team gets the ball off the floor out of a made basket. One dribble, one long pass. Like I said, about three and a half seconds to out of bounds to basket. Vandenberg makes the first. That's his first point of the night. 7-1 redshirt senior from Melbourne, Australia. Makes them both. Only came in four of nine on the year from the free throw line. See if they can find McDonald in this zone, get him some open looks. Page, McDonald. Big rebound by Tokyo. Kicks it out to Page. Yes! How many times do we see it, Tim? Off an offensive rebound, the kick out for an open three. And Tokyo is what we used to refer to as an easy rise. I mean, it just seems like gravity doesn't affect him at all. He goes up and gets the ball. Like, you're so right about those second chance points. Vandenberg with a rebound, kicks it out. New 35. up short gets it back he picks up the personal that's four on tj warren i mean you can't even try to make that play in that situation you have to have an understanding of your foul situation you're not going to get this ball off of marcus page that's uh, just uh, that's an unfortunate foul for warren Back to that 1840 minute mark when Warren was out. That's that's when North Carolina made their run back in. This is the free throw. Beeks kicks it out to Britt. Down into the corner. Page. Yes. Second consecutive free off an offensive rebound, and that one on a missed free throw. Timeout NC State. Not happy with the officials on the foul on Warren.
doubleheader coming your way Saturday. First at noon, Ryan Brown and Miami head north to take on the conference leading scorer, T.J. Warren and NC State. Then at 2.30, number 19, North Carolina and Marcus Page take on Jarrell Eddy and Virginia Tech and Blacksburg. All the information you need is on ACC.com. The ACC.com, the official ACC mobile app as well. Ryan Brown, Miami, and NC State, and of course Carolina and Virginia Tech. Well, he just, they just lost. Jim Laranega lost so much from last year, and Brown was their sixth man. He's had to be a primary scorer. Nice job at 15 points, top 10 in the conference, but they are the lowest scoring team in the ACC at 62 points a game. North Carolina has Virginia Tech, Notre Dame, and at Duke. And the tournament starts two weeks from today. Ten on the shot clock now as Cat Barber hears the crowd chanted out. Strong shot, not even close. They got Page guarding Turner. Maybe try to work him into the paint area and let him use his size inside. Somebody is going to have to step up and fill the void with Warren on the bench. Carolina looking for its first lead since the early moments of this ball game. As a matter of fact, there it is. They led 5-4, to four, and now for the first time since, it's 53-52 heels. A big possession right now for NC State to answer. Not sure you want Desmond Lee taking that shot. Time out on the floor. We'll take one as well. We'll return after these messages on the local ACC station. North Carolina with a one-point lead. Let's revisit our AT&T fast analysis. And we've talked about rebounding. How this is going to be critical. Uh, NC State a minus 16 over in Chapel Hill. But have hung in there in this game, Tim, and actually they've converted more of their offensive rebounds and the points than the Tar Heels have. Well, everybody that watches ACC basketball knows that Wake avoided a winless February by beating Clemson last night. The loss, a serious blow to the Tigers' NCAA tournament hopes. And NC State knows they need a win tonight against Carolina. Charlie Lewis back in the ball game for uh, Cat Barber and be interesting to see probably I would imagine try to get under the four minute mark Kyle Washington misses the front end of a one and one without Warren if you're uh, if you're Mark Gottfried I wonder how long you can live with him sitting on the bench Tokito this is Page inside the Meeks Kennedy Meeks takes it up strong has it blocked and taken away by Vandenberg nice job holding his ground that time for limited minutes, but it's a good shot blocker. Desmond Lee! Wow, what a huge shot from a guy who has not been seeing a big basket. North Carolina, I'm sure, would prefer him to take the jump shot, and he answers. This is Page from beyond the arc. Buries it. I tell you, he's, he's really a second half scorer. Page with 14 points in the second half. Taken away by Carolina. Page never really squared up or turned around. This is McAdoo. Vandenberg working underneath. Two blocks and a rebound. Vandenberg with a finish. Well, how about during Vandenberg and Anya? Wow. Vandenberg cleaning it up on the boards. You know, sometimes he forgets he's 7-1, but he has played like it in the last couple of possessions. Factor inside. The block right there, the quick release, and then the run up the floor. That's exactly 
Those are exactly the two plays that this crowd needed. And this arena is rocking. Keep in mind, NC State had three straight road games. They're glad to be home. And now they've got to feed off the energy of this crowd. Hey, you want to know how you shoot 70%? <laughs> <laughs> have most of your shots dunks. Good point. Page. Jump stop. Toe to toe. Into the paint. Running hook hander finishes. Really tough shot. They've got Desmond Lee on Marcus Tage. Back and forth they go. Here it is, the four minute mark, and uh, TJ Warren going over to the scorer's table. And Washington double dribbles. Well, J.P. Tokido's had an impact in this game. He's had an impact on this entire team over this nine-game stretch. Yeah, no, he's, he's an electric player, and he's developing a nice little jump shot, too. Actually second in his team in assists, so he's been able to make plays as well. D.J. Warren back in the ballgame. He went out at 8-0-1. He's back now. Follow, and we just talked about him. There he is. 16 points now tonight for Tokido. Carolina lead. Warren running one hander gets the roll. You've got the feeling this is the danger zone right now for State. Yeah, no, but this is going to be a fun last three and a half minutes to watch. Guys are stepping up, making big time plays. Johnson has it blocked. Vandenberg again. Lewis pushes it. And Desmond Lee is fouled. And that's more his game. I mean, that's what he does. Attack the rim. Desmond Lee goes up and says, hold on here a minute. We'll be back. A good one in Raleigh. Here's a game summary presented by Valero, Mike. Yeah, Tokuto, the double-double, but how about this, Tim? Seven of nine shooting, also has five assists in the game. What a great line. And then uh, Marcus Page, we talked about him. He's been a second-half scorer through this run. Four points in the first half, very quiet, but has stepped up big here. Four of seven from three, 18 points. And just as a point of reference, Page averages 17. Warren averages 23. Although, Warren has averaged 27 points when Lewis has been the point guard in the ACC games. So Desmond Lee at the line, 71% free throw shooter. Young sophomore from Statesville, North Carolina. Toughness. Red State's comeback against North Carolina earlier this year. The Carolina beat NC State 84-70. That was in Chapel Hill. Last tie was at 13-13. Now we're deadlocked at 60. And the foul is going to be on Tyler Lewis. And that was a pretty aggressive play by Nate Britt attacking the rim. A little bit of a smaller lineup out there with McDonald at the three. So that was Oak Hill against Oak Hill. Yeah, Lewis fouled Britt. Yeah, giving Tokato a little bit of a blow here. He's over on the bench. I don't know if he's got, he's got both of his legs extended. I don't know if he's got a little cramp issue. Looks like he's also working with his wrist. The roll and Nate Britt makes them both. Britt 
84% in league play from the line. NC State's lost a little movement. This is Desmond Lee. Tough shot by Warren, gets it to go. How about that? Yeah, and again, that's well, that's what it's with instead of Tokyo and McDonald guarding him, there's a size advantage. He took advantage of it in the post. What's the call here now? Warren thought he asked for a timeout in time. But well, he did you can't, him you, can't, oh, yeah, he you can't call timeout. He was he was going out of bounds. He was out of bounds, what he called it. Yeah. Great hustle though by Warren. And Carolina gets it back. Two and a half to play in a ball game. And this foul is on Lewis again. Let's see if we can get a better look on this ball, Mike. Now here's that look. The, you know, kind of the, the quick post almost got a hook on that play. It could have been called, but it was a good finish inside. He was, he was far enough up from the baseline to be able to make that spin move underneath. So Britt goes back to the line and he's been highly efficient. And continues to be. Three for three at the line. And Lee goes out of the ball game. Carolina, or NC State now with its starting five on the floor. Maybe hit some big free throws down the stretch against Duke to help seal that win. Four for four in the last 46 seconds. And he gives the Tar Heels a two-point lead. So two minutes and 30 seconds remain in this one. And it's on. The ACC mobile app features live games, video, scores, stats, and news. Download it on your iPhone, iPad, or Android. Your team's your app. The ACC mobile app presented by Outback Steakhouse. Download it today. Well, T.J. Warren has been hampered to, uh, today by foul trouble somewhat. Uh, not shooting nearly as high a percentage as he has been, but you've got to figure, Tim, that if he stays on the court, that he's going to figure prominently in the last two and a half minutes. Warren getting right around his average now. He's got 21. He averages 23. 8 of 18 from the field. And that's the uh, He's the highest scoring in player in the power conferences around the country. We talked to Roy Williams before the game as you look at Mark Godfrey, but Roy was saying he's not only the AC's leading scorer, best in field goal percentage. He's efficient. Usually guys who are like that have to take a large amount of shots to get that number or else they get to the free throw line a lot. Zone defense now by North Carolina. And every possession now critical for both of these ball clubs. High pass to Lewis. That ball was partially blocked. So with 10 on the shot clock, it'll still be the Pack's ball. Don't forget that ACC doubleheader as we roll toward tournament time. 10 on the shot clock. Here's Warren. And gets the roll. How about that? Might have got away with a little extra I step thought so too. on that. He's got 23 points right at his average. And we're tied at 64. is fouled and I think it's on Ralston Turner yep. well I tell you what both both Britt and Page have been really aggressive but here's the little hop step and it's not a travel if you don't call it and Page gets the roll both of them have been very aggressive at attacking NC State's guards and make, trying to make them defend and get to the line. Carolina by two again. Page with 20. So 
tell you what, they had a terrible start to this game from the line, but those two have been really solid down the stretch. Roy Williams trying to give his club with this crowd is giving state. They double out on Lewis and he calls a timeout. And, uh, Mark Godfrey just grimacing right now, having to burn a timeout in that situation. Lewis getting caught and Carolina jumped him off that double. That is their last timeout. Picked up his dribble. Took the last timeout. With 1.23 remaining in Raleigh. Roy Williams with his Tar Heels. And how about the success Roy Williams has had against NC State? 26 and 2. Uh, have you had even had a good success in the Kansas and Mayo? Never yeah. lost to yeah. NC State of Kansas. We asked him for a game, and he, as much as anybody, has an appreciation for this rivalry. Uh, you see that winning percentage, uh, Coach Bubis at the top of Roy Williams right there, and he said uh, Coach McGuire was the one that really got this thing cranked up, but he even remembers the Everett Case days, days here, so he, he has an appreciation of the history of these two teams. He brought Jimmy B into it, no question. This is a tremendous rivalry with great traditions and great players. Warren again with the running one-hander. How about this shootout? Back and forth they go. Wow, that's a, that's, he's doing a smart thing, too. That little floater checking up. He's taking the charge away from it for that fifth foul. 65 seconds left. Carolina fans are probably saying we'd love a first half like this for Marcus Page too, but uh, he has come up huge. Page jumps out on Lewis. Turner with a turnaround. Three! Well, NC State's going to get the ball back. They just have to defend without fouling here. Bedlam in here. Tokido's shot won't go. Lewis takes it away. Shot go. clock is off. They're going to go without the timeout. I love this move. Final 10 seconds. Oh, they called man. the foul on Tyler Lewis. Tony Warren, TJ Warren hit the deck hard and he is still down. Oh my! And, and, and he, Warren is really upset that he didn't get that call. It looks like there's contact on that play, but no call, and then that play. Wow. Wow. But you got to use them out. It's a still three. They don't have a timeout, but there's three point seconds left. So they've got to get this play set up. There's still time to come up the floor and get a shot off. <laughs> NC State, no timeouts left. They've had to go this way without them. Page makes them both. Two point game with 3.6 left. Pass to Vandenberg and then a dish off. Wow. Knocked away. Two, one, 1. 1.5 left. And again, no chance to get the club together. And I like that. They're putting McAdoo on the ball on Lewis to get a little size on him. And a foul on Mc... Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. McDonald with the foul. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen a flurry like this at the end of the game, Tim. There's the look. And that's a grass a hold. It's a good call. It is. But both of these teams have played at such a high level here in the second half. What a finish. Four of six at the line is Warren and makes the first. 
And you can almost feel everybody hold their breath at PNC. <laughs> Look at Lee at the top of the key. Like he can't stand to watch. There's, no, there's still enough time for a catch and shoot in 1.5 seconds. Makes the second one. We're tied at 71 with 1.5 left. Timeout, Carolina. The way this game's been going, there's at least room for two more plays. <laughs> Telling him in the timeout. <laughs> well, I mean, just remind him again that you don't have to rush it. There's a chance for a catch and a shoot here. And after what just happened, you want to tell yourself if you're NC State, no fouls. Well, they're going to put they more got, on the clock. Yeah, they got it to half court. More time on the clock. This is, this, is, this is big to look on it because if it's more than point three, there's enough time for a catch and shoot. It's not like point seven. It looked like that's when he called for the, I got the timeout. And that just gets everybody else pumped up in PNC Arena. For the 226th time, it's NC State and North Carolina. And they put point eight back on the clock. Once again, so now you can get a you can get a curl, maybe look for something like a, a double screen for Page and get him curling to that left hand. Mark Gottfried hadn't had much time with his team over the last five minutes, so he's keeping them in the huddle as long as he can. Here we go, the final .8 seconds. They got to get Mark Gottfried back in the coach's box. Uh, the thing with Barber, he's got to be careful not to get the same call and a hold on Page if he's the one coming off the screen. Les Jones explains he can't move. Turn around by Page. And we're going into overtime. Well, it's what you would expect from a rivalry like this. We're deadlocked at 71. NC State's largest lead in this ballgame was 11. Carolina wouldn't go away. The 19th ranked Tar Heels kept fighting back. We're now tied at 71, going into overtime. There is foul trouble everywhere. TJ Warren and BJ Adio each have four. Bryce Johnson has four, and Leslie McDonald has four. NC State now has one timeout. Carolina has two. Page for three. That's, that's been your guy in the second half, but I don't know about that shot. It was awfully quick and early in the clock. You know, he's trying to give his team a little bit of a boost. Isolation, Warren. Isolation for him. Warren running one-hander. Too strong. Gets his own rebound. Backs it in. 
Why, just willing this team. You know, it's been Warren for State and Page for North Carolina. Inside to Meeks. Back outside to Page. Ten on the shot clock. Page to the rack. Has it blocked. Five on the shot clock. Tokido to the rack. Well, that was a really solid defensive possession for North Carolina State. Kyle Washington with the cleanup and then Vandenberg. Quietly, he's played a big role down the stretch for NC State. They're just trying to give the ball to Warren and a clean out as much as they can. And he's fouled. Warren did not shoot it. He was passing the ball, but he was fouled. And the foul is on Tokito, his fourth. Here's the thing. And, uh, able to get to that right hand, but then just outworked everybody to get the offensive rebound. I mean, coming in, that was a terrific help side play by Kyle Washington. And so T.J. Warren at the line. Boy, he has been money at the free throw line and now has 30 points. Let's see if, uh, if North Carolina reacts if they keep running that iso on that left side if they run somebody at him to get the ball out of his hands page and Britt both in the ball game now tokito goes out with four personals state by four in a couple of blocks really igniting this crowd look at this and this is the guy you want the ball in his hands making decisions foul is on Leslie McDonald and that is five personals so McDonald is disqualified and they're working they're still working on Tokuto he has got uh, calf cramps and Warren back at the free throw line and this is it. Two possession game. Carolina came back from an 11 point deficit and actually took the lead. Now in overtime, down by six. Page. Yes. And timeout, Carolina. And so Page makes it a three-point game. He now has 28 points. 2.36 remaining in the overtime. Well, you look at uh, T.J. Warren, and uh, this is why he is a first-team All-ACC candidate and a Player of the Year candidate as well. Making the plays, that free throw tied the game up. The hustle play here in overtime. He has scored all of NC State's six points in this extra session. Well, all those six points in the overtime for NC State, he's got 33 on the night. Terrific performance by T.J. Warren. Seventh 30-point performance of the year. Still a one-possession game. 2.20 to play in the overtime. And the ball was kicked. It'll belong to NC State. Pretty efficient night. Point was 7 of 17. Had to hit those two free throws with a lot of pressure to tie the game at 71. This is Turner. Yes! That's for three! All right, and you know what? That's a great look by Vandenberg, too, on the by baseline. Carolina 
Alabama answers with a two by Bryce Johnson. But you can't, you cannot celebrate against this team. You have to go into a defensive mode automatically. And that was that again after a made basket. That was less than three seconds up the floor. NC State not worried about melting the clock and shortening the game, but being aggressive. And Warren again. What a performance by T.J. Warren. Well, with Tokito out and McDonald out, they had to go to a big cover with McAdoo. Page answers. How about Marcus Page? Timeout, Carolina. Well, I've, I haven't seen a one-on-one -on -one shootout like this in a long time. Marcus Page has 31. Well, there's that nice find outside. Ralston Turner for the three by Vandenberg and then the one on move they've been giving him those side clear outs this time on the right hand side for Warren and then Marcus Page has had an answer for just about everything career high for Warren at 31 or 35 correction and Marcus Page 31 Marcus Page Carolina's MVP he had that little slump shooting slump in January safe to say he's out of it Look at this. Yeah, it's in the, again, first half, second half. Um, what an amazing performance by him. And then when you're fatigued to continue to knock down threes is not easy. North Carolina now without any timeouts. NC State with one left. Don't forget coming up Saturday, a doubleheader Miami-NC State with Carolina-Virginia Tech. Two weeks from today, the ACC tournament starts. 15 teams, there'll be a whole lot of basketball. We'll start with the bottom six. Then the muddle in the middle comes in. Pittsburgh, Clemson, NC State, Florida State, and Maryland will get involved. And the top four get a bye all the way until semifinals. Yep. Well, there have been some crazy results this year. This could be an interesting tournament. Seventy seconds left in the overtime. Tyler Lewis with 15 now trying to milk the clock. One minute. Under a minute to play, he foul by Britt. That's four on Britt. Tyler Lewis doing his best uh, Marcus Haynes imitation out there, keeping control of the ball. Those two have been going at it. Lewis normally reliable at the free throw line, 78%. Makes the first, has another one coming. Tyler Lewis, a 5'10 sophomore from Statesville, went to Oak Hill Academy where they were 44 and 0 and played for legendary coach Steve Smith. Desmond and Lee into the game, offensive defense. This is the second. Gonna put him on Marcus Page, try to calm him down. Page trying to free up, 45 seconds left. Nice pass. And this foul's gonna be on the lead. And how about that? It, it, Page is the guy on the offensive rebound. They stayed with him, double, try to get the ball out of his hands. Checking to make sure he has his teeth. Yeah, and they were, well, they forced him to go right, which was the good play, but you gotta clean that, you gotta clean that rebound up. Got it. Elbow to the teeth, rattled his fillings. Three-point game. Again, so just, almost, uh, just under seven seconds between shot and game clock, so. Lee goes out, Ralston Turner comes back in for State. Plenty of time for North Carolina, you just need to uh, stop without a foul. Carolina brings in Luke Davis, and Johnson goes out. Page with another one coming. 83-81. Career high for Page, 33 points. Warren tries to split the double team. Knocked out of bounds, Carolina ball. Wow, he's 
he just dribbled himself into trouble on that baseline and a terrific double team. Well, I don't know. They're going to go look at it. And what you can do now, at the, that's a reviewable play. The crowd saw it on the big screen and let them know what they thought. And now they will review it. Warren tried to split the double team, had it knocked loose with the ball. And who touches it last? From that angle, it looks it looked like Warren. It's a tough angle to see. It looks like it hits his shoulder, shoulder on the yeah. way out. Thought it came off his shoulder. I, I don't Can't know. That, I don't know that there's going to be enough evidence to over, overcome that. And that's the key. Yeah. There has to be indisputable video evidence to overturn the call on the floor. The reaction from the crowd that you heard was that the, the, that there wasn't a foul call in that initial play. It's going to belong to Carolina. Down two with 36.9 seconds left in overtime. Well, the interesting decision here is. My philosophy is you go for the win on the road, the tie at home. But if you're Roy Williams, you know, do you just go for the tie here and extend? Well, you've got 31 on the shot clock. But that can't be right. And 36.9 left in the game. Yeah, there's, 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 there's obviously you've got to make it 35 it's, 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 on the yeah, shot there's, clock. There's a change in possession. So there you go. go. Yeah. So there, now they change it. So 36.9 left in the game, 35 on the shot clock now that they change it so everybody can see it. This is Britt working on Lewis. Inside, McAdoo, yes! And we're tied at 83. Stay right now. You just want to make sure you get the last shot of this extra period. Give yourself a little extra time for some offensive rebounding. Maybe the, the left hook will give Warren a clear. It'll be interesting to see if North Carolina goes at him. Final 10 seconds. And the foul McAdoo. will be called on McAdoo. And Warren will go back to the line. Look at Roy Williams. Tokato having his issues. He's coming back onto the bench, and then McDonald fouled out. And Warren misses. He's now 8 for 12 tonight. He really, he really it, was a, it was a tough matchup for him. Fatigue has to become a factor at some point. Warren makes the second. NC State by one. Marcus Five Page seconds. Time. Three seconds. Page. Yes! Point nine seconds left. This one's good if it goes. And Carolina holds on to win. Was there any doubt who was going to take that last shot for North Carolina? Got a nice little brush screen there. You let him get to his left hand. He is too tough, and he just put this team on its ba on his back. 35 points for Marcus Page. And how about Warren finally missing, and they lose by one. For our next telecast, tune into Doubleheader Saturday, North Carolina State and Miami at noon. And at 2.30, North Carolina takes on Virginia Tech in Blacksburg. Don't forget, we have more coverage of UNC. Win tonight with the ACC Post Game Live on the ACC.com starting right now. That's all from Chapel Hill. You've been watching exclusive coverage of ACC basketball on the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports.